What's up? My name's Erica. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my crib. Today is Tuesday, March 19th. I'm currently home. I just got myself ready for the day. And I kind of feel like putting on makeup. So I, I even baked and everything. Today's video is a what's in my gym bag video. I have been meaning to do one of these just because I definitely feel like I live with my gym bag. It goes everywhere with me. If I had to literally choose one bag to live with for the rest of my life, I would 100% take my gym bag just because it has more than just gym gear in it. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag and just kind of like what I use whenever I'm at the gym. Definitely my go-tos, my favorite products. I'll even try and show you guys some of my favorite makeup products because makeup is always in my bag as well. So let's get to it and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I have some weird things in my bag. Okay. Oh, I don't want this song. So the gym bag that I use every single day is a bit more of a fancier bag. The bag I'm using is a bit bougie, so I'm gonna warn you there. But I didn't always use this bag. I used to just use a Nike duffel bag. But I've made it so that I can take two bags every day that I have class. Like if I have lecture or clinical, I have to be in the hospital for 12 hours and I want to go to the gym right after. I've made it so that I can take my backpack, which has every single essential school item I could possibly need. And then I have my gym bag, which is basically stranded on an island. I'd survive many years. So I'm going to show you guys the bag that I'm using. It's heavy. I use this heavy duty bag from Burberry. It's huge and honestly, I almost wish it wasn't so big. The bigger the bag, the more stuff I can fit in it. Okay, so the first thing that I have in, I'm gonna show you guys everything I have in here, literally all of my essential items. The first thing I have is some perfume. My favorite perfume is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. This is by far my favorite perfume. I got it from Thai for Christmas, I think maybe. Is it Christmas? It might be my birthday. I don't know. Okay, so the next item I have, I don't recommend this one, but your girl needs to always have some deodorant. So I have this Dove deodorant, which I just picked up like the other day because I usually use the Schmitz um, or Tom's version of aluminum free. This has aluminum in it. I don't recommend it, but when you need something, I gotta use something. The most important thing that we're gonna tackle is gym. So we wanna talk about what do I use when I'm at the gym? I keep another bag inside of my bag. This bag was given to us online from Amazon. It came with a package of bands, I believe, or some type of athletic equipment. This is my gym bag. It goes all around the gym with me every single workout. It has a little slingy thingy. So I just open it up here. It's great for just throwing it around the gym. The headphones that I use currently in the gym are the Powerbeats 3. I've been using these for probably four months now or since Christmas. I got these from Tyler for Christmas. They're awesome. Fun fact about Beats, I actually lived next door to Summer, who is the daughter of Dr. Dre. Okay, so the next thing that is absolutely essential for me to use in the gym is a one of these bad boys. I think these are awesome. One of the resistance bands that have two handles on them. I find them for warming up my upper body. I'll do literally like flies. I'll do um, scap retracts. I'll do overs and outs. I'll literally do so much with this. I'll even um, throw it on the ground, grab it by the middle, step on the sides and use it for deadlifts. Like there's so many things that you can do with just this band. I recommend getting one if you don't have one already and don't get it to where it's as so difficult that you can't do it. You wanna be able to use it to warm up with or burn out with. So you need to be able to really go through the whole range of motion in order for this to work the way it should. So the next thing that I have is literally my holy grail, my foam ball. I got this at Target. It's the GoFit brand. I absolutely love it. It's not too tough. It's great for warming up before a workout. I wouldn't use it solely. If you need to get deeper into your muscles, I would recommend a lacrosse ball or something a bit tougher, like a softball. It goes with me everywhere. So it's been to many gyms. The next thing is a resistance band and these go over your knees, but you want it to be right above your knees. I know a lot of people like put it on their knees. This isn't incorrect. Put it above at least like two inches above your, or two fingers between your, above your knees. So 
I love these. The red indicates that it's like a heavier resistance, but it is important to have looser ones because sometimes you can double band. Have you ever double banded? Because double banding is literally going to kill your glutes. I'm gonna put this one above your ankles and then you have a double band. I feel like we're going through multiple bags. I have more resistance bands. So if I ever work out with someone, I'm ready. I got this a long time ago. I wanna say again, it's from Amazon. It was a whole circle, but it ripped. And again, this is actually my best one for doing scab retracts. It's great. And again, like the overs, you know, those. And then I always keep aqua four because I have very dry lips. Another band. A bag of protein. Don't ever forget your protein. And I also have a written workout, which looks really gross, but it is a written workout for the days when I just absolutely don't know what the heck I'm doing. Next thing I have in my bag is an extra pair of headphones. They're kind of falling out, but they're the iPhone headphones because you never know. That's one thing I always, always want to have is headphones because who doesn't want to work out with headphones? People who work out with headphones, I'm like, how? Next, wallet. I have light bulbs that need to be returned. I have a lock, it goes everywhere with me. I think it's really important to have a lock at the gym. You need to be able to lock your things safely and securely. I have a lint roller. Lint rollers go everywhere with me. Tyler says I am the lintiest of them all. I am the lint queen. So I've learned to keep lint rollers with me. Always have an adapter. Usually people have chargers and no adapter to the wall. My face wash, I always keep a face wash with me in my purse. I don't work out with any makeup on at all. The only thing I'll sometimes have on is maybe mascara and my eyebrows filled in. For the most part, I, um, I use this. It is the Radically Rejuvenating Cleansing Cream from Acure Wellness. It's awesome, it smells really good and minty fresh. It's a great way to wake up. For example, yesterday I was at the hospital and I had a hospital smell stuck in my nose and I literally washed my face and felt alive. I have contacts. I actually only wear one contact in my right eye. I have extra SPF. This is like a really healthy, the Badger brand. Okay, so the next thing I have is my makeup bag. I um, also always carry with me the Juice Beauty SPF Oil-Free Moisturizer. I think it's SPF 30. This is my favorite moisturizer. I've been using this for almost a year now. I used it all throughout Accutane and having severe cystic acne, the process of getting rid of my acne, it hasn't affected me negatively. So if you have really bad skin, I would recommend this. It doesn't have any oils. So if you're sensitive to oils, it won't do anything. In regards to what's in my makeup bag for the gym, if I go work out, I use about this many products. So if I'm going to the gym, the only thing I will do is I naturally have really dark under eyes. My under eye circles are relatively darker than a normal person. So I always keep Tarte Shape Tape in my bag and then I always use a beauty blender just to kind of brighten up only my under eyes. I don't even bring it out. I literally just get under my eyes and I don't let it touch any of my open pores and it just makes me look a little bit more lively. I use this after moisturizing and I use the beauty blender to blend it out and then I go straight into my brows. I've been using the um, precisely my brow by benefit for quite some time now. I love it. I haven't used the Anastasia one in a while because I felt like I wanted to try something new and so far I've loved it. This is my second one I bought in a row and I probably buy it again. I'm the shade three. I absolutely love it. And then I usually will throw on a little bit of mascara. I use the Buxom mascara. I've been using this literally since high school. It has a huge applicator. Like, look how big that wand is. It just gets everything so well. That's about all I'll wear to the gym. That's what's in my gym bag. I almost forgot to mention my toner. Whenever I work out, if I wash my face right after, then I also tone. It looks really, really gross because mascara and everything, or foundation has gotten all over it. But I've been using the Thayer's um, Witch Hazel again, all throughout my acne issues, and it's my favorite toner in the whole wide world. I think it just helps your skin if you have acne. It just, it kills and keeps bacteria away. I just love it. So I hope you guys liked this video. I definitely enjoy doing videos like this. That's just showing you guys what I take to the gym. Ty and I travel a lot for rugby, so we try different gyms all throughout Southern California, and this is the equipment I bring with me everywhere I go. 
and now we need to wrap it up. If I was stranded on an island, please send me my gym bag. I intend to try and upload at least one video per week. And so the next video, I'll probably do something else gym related. I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you can help me think of other videos to give you guys that are gym related, let me know. I got cold, so I put on some warmer clothes. Some Lulus with um, just like an undershirt. I love high sock knees. <laughs> high sock knees, what are high sock knees? I like wearing high socks. I think they're kind of fun and stylish. My mission is to get that into storage over there. I'm currently organizing. I have my agenda, which I absolutely swear by. And I also have my book. And then I've got my computer little station set up. So I'll probably just work in intervals of like 30, 45 minutes. One of my best pieces of advice for you, and this actually usually is in my gym bag as well, is my planner. Something to help get your brain onto paper. So you don't have to think and it can do the thinking for you and you can just show up and accomplish. So just a little tip. Good morning. It is, I believe, March 20th. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm currently uh, going to Ulta. I'm supposed to be going to the gym, but I just honestly could use another day of rest. There's nothing wrong with taking more rest, especially if you're in it for the long haul. So if you're here to work out for the rest of your life, then go ahead and take a rest day because your body could use it to heal. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the vlog. I just decided not to go to the gym today. And you know what? No shame in my game. You know what I did instead? I went to Ulta. And so I thought I'd also show you a little Ulta haul. I should be doing an at-home workout on this video as well. I stole one of Ty's shirts because I need some color in my life and all of my clothes, all of my clothes are for winter. I've been wearing a lot of black and dark colors and I can see it even in my Instagram. It just looks really dull. I went to Ulta and this is, I got a little baggy. I have always played with makeup. I think it's really feminine and it's all about accentuating what you have. I think it's fun to get really glammed up too. We're gonna go through this. I've got the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I absolutely love this product. It just makes more natural brush strokes. The next product I got is the Clinique Take the Day Away. Yeah, Take the Day Off Clinique Cleansing Balm. I use this to take off my makeup, but I had mine honestly for like a year or maybe eight months to a year. Let me see if I can, if you, so it's just like a big balm. It's like big lip balm. And basically what you do is you scrape it out and you rub it all over your face, wash your hands prior, but it melts all of your makeup and then you r rinse your face underwater and all of the makeup and balm turn into a milky, cleanser and then it just runs off like milk. I don't even know what the sorcery behind it is and I haven't looked into it and I know it's probably not natural or good for you. I have not had any problems with it for my skin and I have very, very sensitive acne prone skin and it's done wonders for me. So that's my second one after that other one lasting me so long. I also got the Juice Beauty SPF 30 oil-free moisturizer. It is a natural skincare like more so natural, it's organic at least. It does have a little bit of a white cast, but it easily melts into your skin and looks really natural. You look very hydrated. So the next thing I, I have, ooh, I kind of mixed it up. Okay, so this is the Mario Badescu. I've spoken about this product so many times on my Instagram. I always have it on in like my Snapchats, especially at night. This is literally my holy grail. It's for acne. What it does is it helps spot treat. So what you do is you get a Q-tip and you dip it in. Do not shake the bottle. It accidentally fell. You can see how there's like all the residue on the side. It's supposed to all be sitting at the bottom. The whole point of it is for you to take the Q-tip, just dip it in, pull it out. And what it'll do is it'll collect some of the pink treatment. If I have a pimple coming on or if I feel like there's a pimple already there and I need it to go away faster, it will shorten the lifespan of my pimples. And then I got two little fun products, thanks to Ulta and <laughs> their little reward system thing. Um, I got two products from Clinique. I got the Clinique 
eyeliner which I really really am so excited to try honestly just because I don't know how to wear eyeliner at all and so I thought this was like a good starter this color is intense ebony I don't know if you can see that like I could draw a heart <laughs> I just like how simple it seems to be to use and then you just turn it what's interesting is it be I don't know you could turn it backwards you can only turn it one way. I don't think you can retract it. That might be why they're on sale. Okay, so the last product is a Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss and Hydration. It's in the color Rose Water Pop. That is the lip gloss on. It's just cute and pinky. I like it. Me and my heart are gonna go now. I'm gonna go do the workout now because I haven't worked out at all and I need to move my body. Hope you guys liked it. Okay, bye.